and that's why Dad later on, when he jumped ship and lived in in uh, America here on the West Coast, he he was making sheep's eyes, as I call it, to a, a girl in the logging camp. Thank God he didn't marry her. But his brothers, he'd gotten his brothers over and got them jobs by then. <clears throat> and he's, and uh, uh, one brother said to him, Now, Henry, quit making eyes at her. And said, if you want a wife, you go get, get, one from, get Henrietta from Germany. She's the right age for you, and she's a lovely person. And that's how come he got, got mom over when he went ranching. <clears throat> <clears throat> he needed a wife. So anyhow, um, the I knew his mother. She lived with each one of the married children here in America. They brought their, fa their his family over. The brothers, you know, I told you their trades and where they lived. <clears throat> and, uh, and and Bob, uh, uh, Pop went to, uh, got the... He got a little farm down uh, over the mountain where the, by the railroad that was being built through to Eug from Coos Bay to Eugene. He lived in this house where uh, the, the uh, not just in the same canyon as this railroad going through. And he got the, the what do you call it, the job of uh, supplying meat and whatever and hauling freight to the, to the lake to be hauled up to the railroad camp and he hauled it. And so he he had to go around and get acquainted with the farmers and buy beef and, and he raised pigs over the hill. They had to go over, the, over there by saddle horse near Winchester Bay and run the pigs through these terrible thickets. Mom had to help him and shoot a hog or two and bring them home on horseback. Oh, Lord, he worked hard. <laughs> There's a picture of him with the neighbor with the rifle over his head, and Mama has little, little George. George was born there. <laughs> and he had two, uh, let's see, he had Tanta Minna, that's Aunt M Minnie, and Tanta Louisa, that might have a middle name after that, was the, she married his, uh, his buddy that was in the, in, on shipboard with him. Uncle Henry. Oh, he loved Uncle Henry. He was a clown. They lived at Lakeside and had a, had a daughter, just a, just a daughter, Frida, I think. And their kids still live around, her kids still live around there. But anyhow, uh, he, and, he and Uncle Henry built their cabins to help each other on Lakeside, and that, that is hilarious, too. Uncle Henry burned his cabin by mistake, built a, put a, <laughs> a brush pile too close to it and lit it and it <laughs> burnt his little cabin down and they had to rebuild it and, and other things that <laughs> happened. <laughs> oh my. The tunnel that they built and when the, when the train uh, uh, trestle went through the, under the tunnel there at Black Creek, they called it, where he lived on his farm and ran a few cows <coughs> and beef. Anyhow, they, his job expired, so he moved over the mountain, came into Schofield, close to over the hill from Reedsport and the, and the Umpqua River. So uh, he he went to farming there and dairying, and that's where we kids were born, all of us but Ethel. So Ethel's the only one that was born on the Bear Creek property? Yeah, well, she went to the hospital for her. I think was the first one. He called a neighbor. He always had to call a neighbor when Mom was having a, a birth to help her. Mrs. Henderson was my neighbor, and she told me when I was 11, she came to visit and told me I was her girl because I was born at, with... And she, was, she had me, and I was scared to death I'd have to go live with her. <laughs> Mom wouldn't say anything, and I had... After Mrs. Henderson left from visiting, <laughs> I had to... Mama, do I have to go and stay with her? No, no. <laughs> you know. Now there, it was a, a, a little, little gut, what do you call them? Opened little up, gallery. branched out. The Walker family lived there. Miss, uh, Mrs. 
Uh, is this Schofield? Uh, yes, okay. Schofield, yes. It was in, around in the, past the cemetery on the way out to, from Reedsport. I'd say, what, five miles? Not, not too far, something like that. And the boat would come up there with high tide to pick up the cream a part three-fourths of the way. The farmers had to get their cream there. It was all dairying in those rich little valleys that all, in for everyone, and they raised big families in. And uh, uh, we had good, very good early and late pasture, so Dad went ranching and farming, and the railroad ran right through that place. Henderson's were our one neighbor, the first neighbor, and then the one that helped me bo get born, she did. And Dad would hire a hired man once in a while, in the summer months especially, and one hired man, one bum came through and wanted to work, so they fed him supper and let him sleep in the hay mow uh, and uh, in the barn, made him promise not to smoke. And uh, he was supposed to chop wood the next day. Well, he wouldn't do it. He ran away. He ran away early before breakfast. Dad called Mr. Henderson, and they got their rifles, their <laughs> shotguns, and they got him. <laughs> and made him come home and chop split wood and then sent him on his way. <laughs> and Mama says, don't go to, the outhouse was across the road that was right by the house there, around the house, on this little rise down from the, up from the rail, railroad track. And <laughs> his Mama says, don't go near him. We, have to, we had to go to the outhouse and just stay back, but don't go, it went kind of near the, his, where he was splitting the pile of wood. <laughs> ranch, but and the schoolhouse was up on the hill, uh, down the track a ways. We had to walk on the track, and we, the Mexicans would be on the track with their big old things they rode on, where they pumped the thing up and down. Six of them would work on the tracks, and and they'd you'd see their little butts go up and down, up and down, on, three on each side of this, this uh, thing that <laughs> on wheels on the railroad track. And we were afraid of them, and they would, at noon when they had their lunch, we would hear them jabbering like, like little <laughs> gypsies or something down there. And they'd take, catch snakes in the summer and lay them on the track and, and push this cart, this iron cart across that that they rode on. <laughs> that was what they liked to do. Oh, wow. Oh, we loved that place, though, but, uh, but he couldn't, he, Dad wanted to buy it. Be, but but Gardner Mill owned most of the timber land, and they they owned this place, and they wanted to sell the, wouldn't sell it without the timber land, which meant sheep to Dad, and he wanted no part of that. 